Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Lars and this is episode 18 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. We're playing Angels Mod tutorial, Let's Play, whatever we want to call it. We are balancing how to do a Let's Play together with how to build a beautiful, primarily belted base. And that is just absolutely awesome and spectacular. I rebuilt this last time. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's uh, turn off the icons. This is absolutely stunning. I've just marked it here just so it doesn't go any further. I like it. I could have just added more and more and more, but I think six belts, red belts is enough for now. You can also see here the absurdity of this one. It is almost entirely full. This one goes up to 153, but I now have every single one of these is full. Every single one of these is full. It's 7.3 million or 7.37 million. And so is the other ones. They are all being hooked up as well. They're beautiful out here. Uh, this one, not so beautiful because I did not have any rubite. If you look at it, rubite is up here. I did not build up there yet because there is an awful amount of off-camera work here. You can see we built one and then I have to make it five times as big. That means a tremendous amount of resources taken out of the base, plus hooking up new stations, even to the point where I actually hooked up a station. This is the Crotinium. That was a location right here for Crotinium. But that's actually run out while I was building the whole damn thing and now I had to hook up another one but you can see here for example this is almost dead the barmonium the this one it started at 12 minutes down to 4.3 that is again pretty damn amazing what this leads into is six lanes of crushed material coming out here why does this not not oh okay well doesn't matter we don't want it out anyway and that gives us a lot of this that we can proceed basically the combination of crotinium and sapphirite that gives us if we mix it into the sorting machine here this is a basic sorting but it requires a mineral catalyst again not something we want to do what i do have as a bit of a problem here is the amount of crushed stone i will actually get to a point where i have 18 full red lines of crushed stone coming out. That is an absolute absurd amount. So I've just taken out here. This one will be sort of a belted area where I put things I want to belt, but it will also mean that I get in here. So what I want to do here is I want to build something big to get rid of all of my crushed stone. This is what we want to build today because crushed stone is going to be overwhelming us and storing it in a storage facility is actually not a viable option because it's simply that much. However, I also want this base to be completely paved the world. So I'm going to build a lot of stone bricks, a lot of concrete eventually. Um, let's have a look at our Victorio NEI. These are our options for crushed stone. There aren't that many. I can make it into stone. I can make it into calcium chloride. That won't be used very much of. I can make it into slag slurry or mineralized water. Mineralized water is primarily just to, vent, to get rid of it. I'm not going to do that now. The stone is our primary and the other one is the slag slurry. I really wanted to do this one because slag slurry goes into mineral sludge, goes into mineral catalyst that we definitely need. However, this process takes purified water and gets sulfuric waste water out. But the process before requires sulfuric acid. With the new changes to Bob's or Angels, I don't know, they changed the recipe for sulfuric acid. This process here is a net loss of sulfuric acid. So I can't really start it at a level we have here until I have a steady source of sulfuric acid being produced. And I do not have that yet. So as much as I like this one, I can't build it at this point. What I need to do is actually go over here and make primarily into stone and into stone bricks. We're going to use a lot of stone bricks for building and we're also going to use it for concrete. That's my option. So what we want to do is we are going to start looking at some production facilities here. I just need a few more of some things like this one. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Anyway, this one is making stone and this is a speed 1.25. So let's go through the math on this one. This is taking two per half second. That's four per second times 1.25. It is five per second. So each of these is consuming five per second. The red belt coming in here as 26.67 so i'm going to need six of these that's not six that's six and we copy it that'll consume 30 per second and it'll then be output on this lane and that will output half of a red lane 
but what I, I found out is a good way to build this is actually by taking it such as this. Because that is a good way when you have something, you can take it out on either side. It takes two red belts in and gives one red belt out. So by this one, we have one red belt out. And what do we then need? This is why I picked these up. I am going to take one, two, three, four, uh, a lot. So this one, this is, uh, I can't even see the recipe, but I can see that it's crafting speed two. So let's start working on this. It is this recipe. This recipe is every 3.5 seconds, I consume two stone. So it's operating at speed two. So that means every 3.5 seconds, it consumes four stone. So that's a bit more than one per second. So if I say, if it's consuming one per second, then I'm going to have 24 of these. Uh, 26 of those, but if I only... Let's see, how many do we have now? We have 19, and I ran out. How unfortunate that is. I should be having a few more. Let's see, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing a lot of annoying things here. There we go. That's a few more. What did we agree to this was? I think now it's okay. That's 24. So that's 24 and it's slightly more. I think I might be able to make you a 22, if I recall correctly. Let's now wire it up. There's a certain way that I like the wiring this one up because if you look at this, this should be possible. I'm gonna use the green ones, the stack inserters for input. Input, input, nope. Uh, and here, yeah, here. And then I'm gonna use the blue ones for output just because it is easier to see the difference. Then I'm going to do these longer because they're going to be outputting on the middle belt here and here, 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 here. Excellent. Copy. And boom. Oh, hello. You're coming from that side. Fine. These are not needed. That means it comes down in here. Now, could I do this? Could I remove this? This one, and uh, that one, and that one. This seems a bit silly to still retain the same blueprint, but whatever. Because I think I can actually do it here. And I want to keep this upwards. Here. 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 So which one is this will be the outbound. So that's outbound. This is correct. This one will be the, out, uh, the long range. These are now the long range. And I can again get this in here. Nope. Oh, unfortunate. There we are. This is going to be one of the basics. This consumes two red belts and gives us... Oh, hold on. I will just need to get this out somehow. And the great thing about this is how easy it is to get it out. So, because I can't let it go further down, I need to go upwards. So, this is a good blueprint that we have. Unfortunately, there isn't any lights on it. Do we even have any place where I could place lights? Uh, no. <laughs> Pretty much no. Wow. Okay, this is going to be dark and gloomy, unfortunately. But the idea here is now I can place this how far down? This is as close as it can be made. And I'm going to kill this one. I'm going to make sure that we cover the whole thing and build another one. How many do we need? So this consumes... This is consuming two belts. I have six, uh, 18 belts in, so let's pretend that I take 16 belts. That means eight of these blueprints, and then two of them I just convert into stone bricks and leave them as that. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight? I don't think I can count. I think that's eight. Yeah, that's eight. Wow, this looks awesome. Exactly fit. I do not think I have enough. But let's start working on the next part, and that's the next part is actually the belts in here. So they are just simply going in. Uh, 
And eventually I will need to remove this. And the way I need to remove it is because I will be converting this into slack slurry. A lot of it because slack slurry is a great way to get items early on. Uh, whoops. But I do not have the slack slurry at this moment. Or I have no potential to build the slack slurry. Man, I'm gonna need so much. Wow, standing on belts not exactly working very well. I don't think I have enough red belts because this is also kind of my next concern is the fact that I'm actually running out of iron because I have consumed my entire 2.6 million iron deposit just building this base. There is a lot of iron being used everywhere. Bit of a shame, but on the other hand... Oh, well, that's a problem. Huh, let's actually do this differently. We're gonna do this different. I will... I'm gonna have to kill this one. Because... I will also want to do this part without that one, without the return here. That's going to be somewhat like one, two, yes, that's going to be awesome. And then of course I need to make sure that they can go around here. Oof. What are you doing? And I'll have now eight belts of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one will give us eight red belts outbound. And then that one will give us one green belt. That's not very much actually. So let's give us eight plus one. Might actually be the case where I want to take one of these out and then get two lanes of stone bricks. I don't know. It'll work pretty okay, I think. It also makes it quite clear that this one is not going to be there. It's going to be a hell of a lot closer. Maybe even like this. Yep. And these are coming from down here, obviously. And... to here okay so that's number one two three four and five and six okay okay i just wanted to try this to see if it works both love and hate this part of belt belt. No, I don't actually hate it in any way. I like just painting with belts. I think it's fun and it looks amazing when you build stuff. You're of course gonna have to figure out a way to wire the whole damn thing up. And at this point you are totally entitled to say, hey, this is not a uh, tutorial, this is more of a let's play. Yeah, it is. Okay, there's still quite a bit of this left here. Oh, did I miss it? Yes, I did. But we want to build big and beautiful. goes here with that one. Yay, we're painted belts.
Okay, so this is how it all works now. The next part is how the hell do we get all of this junk out? Hmm. Could say... This one. This could be one, two, three, over here. Number four, that means it's going to be four up. I'm just considering how to do this because alternatively, if I take this one out, if I take it all the way up here, it can, this one can exactly get past. So we're actually going to have to cut all of this out because I want, I want this one to go. Oh, this is great. This is great. And you're going to take one up. That's it. And these ones will need to go straight up. So. And some jump up here. Let's see. You need four. And you need five. You can go straight up. So. I'm going to need to build this one five up. Is that possible? Horrible. But yes. Why is this one not working? Oh, it's not working because of that. Okay. And this one. It's going to take forever to pick up all of this, but I think it's the right thing. Actually, I think I want it the other way around. You to be the inner one. It's much easier to figure out if I do it this way. So. Get rid of all of this. Here, here. And I think one more. This is all about building a big, beautiful base, and I hope I'll be able to wire it up. And at this point, I will be. I'll be bring it up because now at this point I need to bring it out and that means this one can I know it can be uh, it, it will have room for it so Next one. This is easy to work work through. Now we'll be able to build this even bigger and better than we have. There. Hey, uh, you. Yes, the length is slightly longer than normal, but that's because that's the way it is for uh, for Bob's mods. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain about it, that's for sure. I like it. It's just part of Bob's mods. Longer undergrounds. 
I'm just all the time. I'm just wondering, am I going to run out? Oh, this is the last one. This is my last 21 or 91. So how many do we have? I think I'm missing something somewhere because it's not fitting. It doesn't fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the last one? Ah, there you are. The only one that actually helped bring something to the table. Dude. And then I bring it up. This one will obviously need to, again, again with that. Let's get some of these. And we need just basically more of everything. drive around to this one and just figure out what's needed because this one is now wired up and ready to go except for all the stuff that isn't doesn't have it and now I'm gonna build up here a big storage area at least for now because uh, we're gonna get this one across I really wanted to see that it's working but it's just missing way too much that's such a shame this is not very impressive way of, uh, of building it I am going to take my truck oh no, 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 don't break things. Please don't break things. It's very susceptible to driving on on the tracks. It really wants to drive on the tracks. Okay, so. Oops. Yeah, that was the shortest path, but through that one. Now, it's quite obvious what I'm missing here. 111 of those and... One of those, really? Okay. Can we build those? I don't think so, because I only have three of them. We are going to go back and it's a bit of a supply run here. And I'm not going to use this one. Good. What I can do though is I can go up here and take this part and multiply it a few times. Boom. Boom. That also means I will be running out of my underground belts uh, easily, not officially, easily. Hey, I'm running on electric car holes now. This is still blows my mind how that's just not working. And the old station. Oops. Wow, we do not have a lot of this anymore. Hmm. And some. This is me driving. More of me driving. Moving over to our electronic circuits here. And that means we can now start converting everything into 40 of those. Pick up more. Just grab this lane here and that lane. And that's going to be 40 more of those. And that's the steel that's missing. Did we get some steel? No, we did not. 41 it was 111 I needed so let's go back oh my god they're, they're just everywhere that should be it and then we need some inserters some blue inserters that was the other thing we're missing here we are going to take all of this yes please you're gonna go in here. All of this, all of this, all of this, and not any more of these, I don't think so. Hmm. And we're gonna go back and then hope we have everything we need. That was not a long supply run, and this is gonna be really diff really tricky. It's just going to get wrecked by these trains. But then again, that's going to be something 
everyone can enjoy. Did you get what you need? No, you did not. You get all these, all these, all these, all of these, and all these. Good. Jump out the car. One car at least. Get in the next one. And let's go to this area here and just see if we can at least get all of this up and running. And then we should start going. I wonder how much I actually have in terms of... Okay, let's see what we're we missing. We are missing still nine of those. I shouldn't be there. So the last nine. Cool. Okay, so everything is working. We keep an eye out here. If there are anything up here that's be missing. Nope, nothing is missing. Oh, I'm getting stuck here. What I will do though is I will be taking one and I'm going to take some of these. There we go. Simply doing this part. It's not much, but it's something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wrong way. Again, more of the red belts. It's not red belt. This is red belt. Oof. It's actually not very much red belt I have. Does it work now? Yes, I think it does. Let's actually go down here and see if it works because then it's just a matter of scaling it up. Park the car, getting close. Okay, so this is consuming everything. This is, unfortunately, yeah, it's just... Let's uh, see if it keeps being here. I know there's a lot of buffer in these, but if I just remove the buffer, then I can spot if they can still maintain a full red belt. Nope, they cannot contain a full red belt. Duh, this is obvious because it is consuming a full red belt, so it should be outputting half a red belt. Which is kind of silly, then I should actually have been merging them together, so it only became four. I might want to do that. But this is great. It consumes all of this, all of this, all of this, all of everything. And what I now need to do is, since this one is active, I simply need to go over and wire more of these up. Like this. And you're gonna, oops. This is a bit strange, but it's the way it has to be. So the three ones go here. Not you and not you. And that's the next one, wired up. So it'll be one and a half from each. Back and forth, back and forth, and I'm gonna run out of this, but it, whoops, what will be the next one? The next one will be Crotinium. Of course, it's gonna get stuck because of, whereas the next one is here. We're not gonna get the first three, uh, irrelevant. It's only going to be no, why don't I do this one here? It's actually not correct, so why don't I do it? Why do I do it? This one goes away. It's the Crotinium. We can just as well, this one, just wired up to Crotinium. It'll look a lot better. Oh, 
one, two. Pretty good. Let's head over. Oh, uh, do I? And this is also kind of difficult to see the difference between cochineum and crushed stone, but there is a difference, and that's why we need filters for it. Got it. Let's keep watching this. You can see how much is actually active now. I will wire up the rest of it just so that it keeps going. Look at this beautiful thing here, and it just keeps going. This is very nice. Okay, so what we've now built is, this is something I really want to do in this one. I want to build jammed uh, city blocks that are building at a very large scale. I'm very happy that we managed to, managed to process, what is it, um, 18 red belts of crushed stone in one city block. I like it. And it becomes, comes now out to something I can just start uh, spamming the world and get everything there. But I want to use some some, uh, I want to build some concrete because I want to upgrade these to concrete before I spam everything in. So for now, this is just going to be stored, but it's a fa compression factor of four from cross stone to stone bricks. So we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you're enjoying it, this Let's Play, uh, as we progress. So thank you very much, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Cheers.